past few years here in Connecticut, crime has dominated the news. With brazen motor vehicle thefts, assaults, and homicide being widely documented, residents are demanding solutions from government to ensure their safety. It's really difficult here in 2024 for the men and women who risk their lives every day to police our communities. As a result, just last year, a report was issued highlighting the stark reality. There are over a thousand police officer jobs vacant here in Connecticut. Criminals in Connecticut have taken notice about the new environment we live in in 2024. In fact, they even go on the internet and check out maps of neighborhoods to figure out the best way to sneak in and sneak out. And so violent crime has definitely increased in the last few years. Unfortunately, in particular, juvenile crime has increased a lot over the last few years. If you need first-hand accounts of the severity of the crime in Connecticut, look no further than our cities. Just ask residents of Waterbury, where violent crime increased 48% in 2023. Or the residents of Hartford, who have seen over a 100% increase in auto thefts since 2022, with over 700 vehicles stolen in the city by August this year alone. Similar trends are seen across our cities in Connecticut. Given all of this, Republicans are trying to offer real solutions, like Senate Bill 445, Unfortunately, Democrats shot that proposal down. That bill included solutions like developing job programs to connect youth impacted by the juvenile justice system with real employment opportunities. When our young people get involved in crime at a young age, unfortunately, it can lead to a vicious cycle. We want to break that cycle by offering young people opportunities like job training and education. Another solution would be to establish a truancy clinic in each town's regional children's probate court to identify and resolve the cause of children's absences from school. Our young people can't learn unless they actually go to school, and truancy can actually add to the problem. If they're not in school, they can't get direction, they can't get education, and they can't train for the workforce we all need. By using state resources to address the root cause of the chronic absences, we can get these children back on the right track and get them off the streets and back in the classroom. Republicans are committed to making our community safer. We have workable solutions that should be embraced so that we don't have young people following into a life of crime, we have less victimization, and we support the men and women that protect all of us in law enforcement. Your safety is of paramount concern to us, and we will always fight to ensure our laws help create safe communities here in Connecticut.